Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, we are getting very close to the end now. We probably won't finish in this episode, more likely in the next one, but we'll see about that. We are 13 turns away from the vote and we will most likely win that vote. Even if we don't, we got plan B and plan C and probably plan D as well. So, yeah, there's not much left in this game. Anyway, we are still going to take a few cities from Shaka. But first, we should probably kill the units. Let's see, we can hit him with a bazooka. Just need to move a little bit closer. Yeah, we can take out the paratrooper, I think. Yes, we can. And then we can swap these two guys. Looks reasonable. Okay, and... Yeah, how about we swap these? And then attack the city. We can hit the infantry once, I suppose. And then attack the city. It should go down in a few turns. I give it maybe three turns. Something like that. And the other cities. We still got some damage around here. I wouldn't mind taking down the artillery. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Well, let's try. Not on this turn. Probably? No. Alright, anyway, pillage the citadel. And we can also capture Tenochtitlan, because why not? Works for me. Any defenses around here? Nope. None that I can see. But let's back up just for safety. Then move a little bit closer with everything else. We can still hit it with artillery. And uh, no, we can't. Okay then. We got so many units. Yeah, let's focus on Tenochtitlan. Since that's a capital city. We'll just move everything towards that one. Off you go. Okay, that will do. So, we still got more artillery. We'll hit this one. And some bazookas. And a lot of infantry. Here, more damage. He built so many citadels. Look at all these citadels that he has around here. Holy crap. How many great generals did he use for that? A lot, apparently. Alright. It's not going to help him much. I'm just saying. In this case, it's not going to help him at all. Just swap these. Alright, looks good. And we can also attack Bolawayo, because why not? Oh yeah, hold on. We got some ships coming. Well then. They won't get very far. Yeah, take that guy out with our destroyer. Can we take out the destroyer? Yes, we can. Nice one. And now we can still attack Bolawayo. Here. So Shaka did have a navy. Not much of a navy, I suppose, but he has the tech to build destroyers. His military tech is pretty much on par with ours. Village. Yep. I do have quite a lot of workers automated, so they should repair all the pillaged tiles as a priority. Not too worried about that. Oh yeah, and we got other battleships. Yep, we can attack Tlatelolco with these guys. And send a submarine in this direction. Here you go. And one more. There, that will do. And move away from the city. Okay then. So, are we done? Not quite. And you? I'll just keep him inside the city. We got more than enough units at the front lines. More caravans. Doesn't really matter where exactly we're going to send it. Highest gold. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sure. Off you go. Doesn't really matter. Next. We got 114 happiness still. Yeah, we could probably take every single city Shaka owns 
and still stay in positive happiness? Most likely. He's still trying. He is sending quite a few units. So, let's check city production first. Lighthouse. We could get a hydro plant in here. Probably worth it. Okay then. Only one city needed production. So, let's attack the city again. Like so. And here's the promotion. What do we want? I guess we can start working on targeting. Yes, yeah, sure. One more and one last battleship. This one has logistics. Here. Okay, that will do. Now, our other battleships. Let's just focus on Bulawayo with these guys. Yeah, Shaka doesn't exactly stand a chance. Here. And that was a promotion. Wait, what? 157. Why can I not pick a promotion then? That was a little bit weird. Barrage 1. Barrage 2. Barrage 3. And... Next up, Bazooka. Logistics, definitely. Repair. And automate. Cargo ship. We can spread our corporation a little bit. Bucharest is fine. So, what happened with that promotion? Well, I guess we'll have to wait until the next turn. Sure, fine, whatever. Automate the workers. Now, back to our land army. Let's see. Let's back up a little bit with that bazooka. Or we can pillage something. Yeah, speaking of pillaging... We definitely need to back up a little bit with the wounded units. Take out the tank. Then the paratrooper. We can swap these, then attack with the bazooka, and then attack with infantry. Here, now, what about that artillery? I can't quite take it out. Not really. It'll have to wait. Such a shame that we can't use bombers. Oh well. I don't really want to move towards it because of the citadel. But we probably should. He has a lot of artillery back here, okay. Yeah, this is where bombers would really come in handy. Alright, let's move forward and back up with the bazooka. This one has logistics, so I definitely wouldn't want to lose it. That would be bad. No, I'm not interested in talking with you. Attack twice. Okay, and we got a paratrooper coming. Okay then. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. I think we can attack him with a battleship. Uh, no, they already attacked, right. Let's just use that artillery then. That will do. And bazooka. Right, I can't attack the city because of the hill. Never mind. Yeah, let's attack the artillery. Like so. We can go into Buenos Aires' territory. And we can still move forward a little bit. So, more damage to the city. Let's use all our artillery. Uh, hold on. First, on Lundi. And we should hit these infantry units up here. And back up with the bazooka. So, let's back up slightly. Pillage, then move on tile. What about the light tank? We can attack the city with the light tank. Like so. Okay, looks reasonable. How's his combat penalty now? Minus 20% still. Okay, so he is quite unhappy. His empire, that is. So, tank. We can actually kill this guy. Yeah, quite easily. Here, he's down. Alright then. One more shot. Yeah, all of the is down to yellow now. It won't last much longer. I give it, like, maybe three turns. That's about it. Oh, hi! A battleship, or rather a destroyer. Okay. 
we should move away from it slightly. It has seven movement. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So let's move far enough so that it won't be able to attack any of our battleships on the next turn. This will do. Yep. Okay then. So, anything else? Yeah, more units. Just send him to the front line, it's fine. Then we can retreat with the wounded units. Replace them with fresh ones. Yep, that's that. We got telecommunications coming up in a few turns. I don't think we'll have the time to build CN Tower, but I suppose we can try. Stop. He did manage to kill something. Oh! The submarine, really? Okay then. Oh, he has two destroyers in range now. Well, we can definitely take them out. At least one of them. Maybe both? We don't have logistics. Yeah, we can take out both. Here. Alright then. So, what else is happening? We got a promotion. I'll take cover. Here's the battleship. We can pick up supply. We can pick up splash damage. Bombardment. Let's pick up supply. Artillery. Volley will be fine. Paratrooper. Medic. Okay, and I think we lost one infantry. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, the one next to the citadel. Yeah, I expected as much. We need to pillage that citadel. A tank would be best for that. But our tanks are actually a little bit far away. This is the closest one. Or we can stay away from the citadel for now. That's probably better. We can pillage it once we take the city. So, bazooka. And we can pillage his luxuries to keep him in negative happiness. So that he'll continue getting the combat penalty. Here, I can almost grab that city right now. Can we take it right now? No. Okay, let's keep attacking Olondi because I definitely want that. Obviously. Here. We might be able to take that one on the next turn. That seems quite likely, yes. I can almost take this one too. Almost. Not quite. Alright, that's fine. Actually, hold on, we got one more artillery. No, that one is slightly out of range. I could still attack with it. Like this. But that's not enough anyway. Okay. Fine. Oh, I can't attack in either direction here. Whoops. Well then. We can do it like so. Cross the river. And then use the artillery. Would be nice to take out the artillery inside the city. That shouldn't be too hard. So, one more paratrooper. We can take him out, I think. Uh, not quite, but we can do some good damage. Okay, yeah, that will be just fine. Fortify until healed. Are we there yet? So, infantry. I don't think we can kill that guy. We might as well kill that barbarian, though. Here. We're doing him a favor. So, production. Damascus. That was an ambassador. Any point getting a hydro plant in Damascus? Uh, yes. Definitely. Next up, Mecca. Yeah, hydro plant, definitely. We still got 10 more aluminum. That should be plenty. And let's do some more damage to Bulawayo. I wonder if we can take every single city he owns before we win a diplomatic victory. Probably not. But who knows, maybe. We still got what, 10 turns? 11 turns. Actually, we got 12 because it takes one more turn to get the actual results of the vote. So, yeah. I think that's that. One more artillery. Yep, just send it to the front line. 
automate the workers and uh, leave the bazooka. Sure, it's not like it has anything better to do. There's the ambassador. Where do we send him? Good question. Quebec City looks fine. Jerusalem. Oh yeah, we should actually send him to Jerusalem. Yep. Maybe we should recruit more. Yeah, let's maybe get an ambassador in our capital after the atomic bomb. Because someone is trying to steal Jerusalem. I think we'll still have enough votes even if we lose Jerusalem. But let's try to not lose it. And it looks like a city joined the Aztecs. Well then. We no longer have to take that one. And there's a vote happening. So, I don't care about space flight regulations. Let's vote for the passport system. Yep, it'll pass. Just thanks to our votes alone. Here you go. Arsenal. Yeah, how about one more ambassador? That definitely won't hurt. Especially when we can airlift them anytime we want. Yeah, let's just get as many as we can. Simultaneously. Time to back up. What do we want on this guy? I would say cover two. Yep. And let's pillage this. To heal up a little bit. And then... Then what? Well, I can kill the paratrooper. Like this. Let's play it safe. Maybe hit the infantry with artillery. No, these are out of range. We can hit this one if we want to. There's no need. I don't think he's close enough to attack anyone. No, he's not. So, volley. Can we actually take Olondi right now? Uh, probably not. On the next turn, I think. Yeah, looks that way. Yeah, on the next turn. Alright then. So, let's swap these out. Like this. Here. Now, the other city. We can definitely take this one. Yep, right now. We got artillery in range. And a few more bazookas. This guy has logistics. I think that's enough now. And the light tank. Here, yeah, the city is ours. Actually, hold on. Let's use this guy. Here it is. For tomorrow, and apparently now we are in information error. Yeah, because that will finish telecommunications. Create puppet. And can we see the yields that we got as a result of capturing that city? Let's see. That's a lot of notifications. Here. Conquering a city. Plus 9000 gold. Plus 1800 science. Plus 4800 culture. And plus 3000 tourism. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we got a new spy. Not that we really need him. Let's send him to Jerusalem. Yeah, sure. Jerusalem will do. Where the heck is it? I saw it for a moment. Oh yeah, right here. Off you go then. So, how about we get rid of some of that artillery? I can't quite do that yet. And what about the machine gun? Well, I think we can take him out. Oh yeah, we can. Instantly. Alright then. So, paratrooper. Both of these guys have cover too. They will probably be okay. Okay, let's take out the paratrooper. Like so. Then we can move the tank to the front and take out the artillery. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. What about this artillery? I wouldn't mind getting more tanks. Might be a little bit late for that. Or we can just buy one. Yeah, I mean, let's just buy one in our capital. Because our capital has heroic epic, if I'm not mistaken. Not that it really matters at this point. Yeah, it does have the heroic epic. Okay, well, let's just buy a tank then. Where is it? Right here. 
And he can also buy a tank in New York. Because that one has the Brandenburg Gate. Although it doesn't have the Military Academy. Oh yeah, I can't even buy it without the Military Academy. Alright, sure, whatever. Upgrade. And some promotions. Yeah, speaking of tanks, we got one down here. What do we get on him? Charge will do. So, kill the paratrooper. Just use the tank. Alright then. So, what else can we do? We can do more damage. Certainly. I wonder if he will lose more cities. Is he still in negative happiness? Uh, yes, he is. Alright then. That's a good thing for us. Time to back up with that light tank. So, back into our territory. And you can move forward. I still want to pillage that citadel. Let's take out the artillery, or at least try. Almost. Alright, anything else we can do here? We are almost out of units. Still got a few. One more artillery. I don't think we can attack anything. But we can move into range of the city. We can just take the city and then the citadel will be ours. That's also a possibility, but we need a few more turns, I think. Seems that way. Well then, that's fine. So, you guys. We should probably go this way, but now I'm a little bit concerned about potential destroyers. Still, it should be fine. We'll send our own destroyer first. There's a cruiser. I'm not quite close enough to take him out. So let's stay away. That will do. One more destroyer. We got nine movement on the destroyers. That's pretty crazy. So, anything else? More bazookas to the front. You can heal up. Alright, I think we're done on this turn. Uh, oh no, hold on. Not quite. A nice destroyer, bro. Would be a shame if something happened to it. Here, we'll kill him with ours, and then we can do more damage to Balawai. I think we can take it on the next turn. Seems like it. Done. Automate. Oh, nice, we got a nuke, finally! Now we need to rebase it. Hopefully the bug will not affect the nuke. I'll just nuke one of his cities. So, Jerusalem. And here's another nuke. Alright then. Can't rebase that far. Coventry. Alright then. Another ambassador. Just send them to Jerusalem. We are quite secure in Quebec City. We are like 1000 influence ahead, but not in Jerusalem. Rebase. No, not you. Come back here. To Coventry. Alright then. Here's the tank. Shock one, shock two. How many more turns until the vote? He wants a peace treaty. No, sorry, I'm not interested. Ten more turns. Okay, then. Yeah, these turns will take a while because we got so many units. I don't like that splash damage too much. Sanctions on England passed. Passport system failed. Wait, what? How did it fail exactly? Okay, then. Literally everyone else voted against it, including my vassals. Now that's just rude. But alright. Do you want anything specific? We could repeal Venetian sphere of influence in Manila. Not that it would really do much. What else can we pick up here? Well, we can try passport system again. I suppose we can. Wait, 20 turns now. Well, alright. Apparently we might actually win domination faster than the vote for diplomatic victory. 
Okay, whatever. I mean, we are pretty damn close to winning domination victory. Hold on a moment. We just need Olondi and Tenochtitlan, if I'm not mistaken, right? I think so. Victory progress. Yeah, we got six original capitals. Yeah, we just need Tenochtitlan and Olondi, and this is game over. So, actually, I think we can do it in this episode. How much damage can we do to Nostitlan? Oh yeah, and the nukes. There's the nuke. If I nuke Tenochtitlan right now, I will nuke some of my own units. Which is maybe not optimal. Just saying. And we need some more melee units in range here. Well, I suppose we got the tank. You know what? Let's nuke the city. Why the heck not? Hey, hold on first. Let's turn off quick combat, as is tradition, and then we'll nuke it. I guess I can move away with the bazooka first. Okay, sure, fine. We can attack once, with animations on. Imagine how much longer everything would take if I had every single animation on. It would be pretty crazy. This guy has logistics, so we'll back up. Okay. Uh, this guy now has logistics, so we can attack once and then we can move away one tile. Come on. Okay. All right, let's go for it. Enjoy your new Shaka. Always satisfying. Where's my new? What the heck? Well, it worked, but there's no animation. That was disappointing. Can we use the other nukes? They might be a little bit too far away on this turn. Yeah. These are a little bit too far away. And I think we can win literally right now. Pretty sure we can win right now. Let's check. So this city will be ours right now. Here is another promotion. Yeah, logistics. I will take that for sure. Here, twice. Yeah, it's ours. There. Just going to use the tank. So, there it is. And then we can take Olondi. Yep, Olondi is ours for sure. Especially with all the artillery we got in the back. So, that's going to be domination victory. I mean, I could just wait to get diplomatic or culture victory, but... I'm just going for whatever is faster. You can consider this game to be every victory type. Here. And that's that. Domination victory. That was quite a fun war. game, I have to say. Many great and powerful We were this close fallen, from losing it to but Gandhi. You have survived and emerged. And honestly, victorious. if Shaka didn't break the, the vassalage, then Gandhi would have won. Triumph. There's nothing I would be able to do. So in that sense. I was a little bit lucky that Gandhi didn't stay permanently allied with England because he had a defensive pact with England for a while. And if he stayed as Shaka's overlord, then yeah, there's not much I would be able to do. It would probably still be doable, but it would be way, way harder. Actually, no, it wouldn't be doable because he would have won for culture victory. We stopped him just a few turns before he finished that project, whatever it's called. Anyway, demographics. Ranking. And we can check out the replay. I assume it's going to work. Yep. So, I'm not quite sure what's going to be next as far as civilization goes. There's definitely going to be something. I don't plan that far ahead, by the way. I often just come up with these things less than a week before I start them on the channel. But hey, if you would like to see something specific, then let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions as far as civilization games go, then feel free. I got a few ideas myself. I usually do. So yeah, the replay. We took over our continent pretty quickly. 
I have to say, I quite enjoy playing the Summer Civilization. It was quite fun. Especially in the early game. And in the mid game as well. The unique unit gave us a large advantage in the early game. And the unique ability was pretty good too. The specialist one. Pretty strong save overall. Yep, that's basically us controlling the entire continent now. And our invasion on the other continent should start pretty soon. It will be quite obvious. Yep, there it is. It's starting right there. Genoa is ours now. And the rest should be very, very quick. We will just flood this continent. Yep, here it goes. It's starting. Ganti just disappeared. <laughs> Alright then, so that's the end of this video and the end of this series. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.